Imagine a world where FIFA was made by Epic Games. Oh my god, that would be insane. Hello guys and welcome to this video, here today I'm being notified and today, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about something a little bit different. So today we're talking about if FIFA was made by Epic Games. I'm just going to go through a few things and just talk about what would be different and how it would be probably like a hundred times better. So let's get into it. All right, so the first one on the list is like a battle pass system. Imagine if we had some sort of battle pass system on FIFA. Just say we could go ahead and, you know, earn our way up to maybe getting a bunch of coins. Obviously, you could say their version of a battle pass is uh, Division Rivals. But let's be honest, you're getting packs back from that. And uh, pack luck really isn't the best. Just imagine we had a system where it was monthly and you could earn yourself a player from playing a certain amount of games, competing a certain amount of challenges. You know, obviously we have our lovely old uh, daily gift rewards that you get uh, a bronze squad fitness from. That's uh, brilliant, obviously. But just imagine if you could earn your way up to a player from completing a certain challenge. Say you scored like 10 goals of an English person. Instead of these daily challenges giving you back a bronze squad fitness. Just imagine if they gave you progress towards then a player or a certain amount of coins just from completing daily challenges. It would be sick. But obviously that's not really what's happening at the moment on FIFA. We're getting, like I said, either a bronze fitness, 200 coins, or maybe just even a bronze player pack that really no one actually wants. You can even then just get kits from that as well. Obviously you can get custom kits on FIFA, but obviously they can give you some different kits. They can actually give you a whole range of different stuff through a battle pass sort of system. Obviously they wouldn't call it battle pass, but just imagine if Epic Games did control FIFA, that would be a sort of thing in a game where it would actually be earning stuff and completing little challenges daily instead of getting the daily challenge objective stuff that we get, which is just absolutely pointless pretty much. All right, moving on to the next point. So as you guys know, if you played Fortnite, you get you get regular updates, you obviously get new stuff, and they also fix stuff if there's stuff wrong with the game. Ah, <laughs> FIFA on the other hand. Uh, okay. So, usually EA take probably around about a month to actually update the game and fix issues. I say fix issues slowly because usually the issues don't actually get fixed. So, you might be wondering what I'm on about. If you guys actually don't play FIFA and you're watching this video, pretty much we are still waiting for stuff like a corner glitch to be fixed. So, you know, front post, near post... Overpowered stuff like that. That's not been fixed and that's been in the game for about two or three years. Kickoff goals, another one that's been in the game for about two or three years. Still not been fixed. But just imagine if Epic Games were in charge. I guarantee them stuff would be fixed within, I'd say, like two weeks at max. They actually listen back to their community, which we'll get onto in a minute, uh, a lot better than what EA do. And they actually care towards their community as well. So that's more community stuff. But anyways, in terms of content update, they could even go through the effort and update players like hairs. When obviously players change their hairs, I mean, that literally takes however long. I mean, Jesse Lingard's only just got his hair updated after like two or three years. That is just a simple thing they could actually do to add into the game. Obviously, they can't really go and add like new players. Obviously, in terms of Fortnite, they add new guns and that's sort of a little bit harder for EA to do and add like new stuff every single day. But even just updating player faces, updating haircuts, adding the latest boots, I don't know, something like that that they could do and add into the game and give us updated content instead of having to look at old player faces where their hair is completely different to what it is now. Moving on to the next one, it's a big one and a big issue I'd say, the servers. Just like honestly the FIFA servers are just, <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to explain it. So the amount of disconnects you obviously get from a FIFA game is absolutely ridiculous and from what I know and from what I've played, Fortnite servers never seem to have issues. If you have issues it's actually on your side of the connection, it's nothing to do with the actual Epic Games servers but in terms of the EA servers, they are just diabolical. Epic Games, if they control FIFA, I guarantee they would actually upgrade the servers at least because the servers we play on like foot champs you get the stuff like speed up lag imagine having speed up lag in a game like fortnite you're shooting moving forward and then you just speed up and you don't even know where you are like it literally would be ridiculous speed up lag is an issue on fifa and if epic games were in charge i don't even think that would be a thing anymore honestly i don't even think that would exist all right on to the next point so cross platform so something a lot of people would like to actually do in terms of playing the game is playing on cross platform so we can play you know playstation versus xbox Xbox, so you don't so you can still play some of your friends that are on PlayStation and obviously if you're on PlayStation you can then play some of your friends on Xbox. Obviously Fortnite has recently done this. You can literally play Xbox, PlayStation and PC. You can play across all platforms and even mobile. Even mobile is involved, but no. 
We have been waiting forever for cross-platform to be a thing on FIFA. Never been a thing before. And that's something that Epic Games would do. Obviously, they've shown that they could do that via Fortnite. And it can't be that hard to do via FIFA. I just don't get how it can be that hard. And then also a combined market as well. Now there's not just separate players that you can get on certain consoles like Icons. Obviously, they're now on both platforms. So now would be a perfect time for EA to add cross-platform into the game. But whether that happens, we'll have to find out. It probably won't. As long as EA are the creators of FIFA, <laughs> uh, most likely will not happen. All right, so on to the next point, listening to communities. This is probably one of the best parts about Epic Games. They listen to their community, they see what issues they find and actually work on fixing them issues. Whereas FIFA, I don't know. I, I, I really don't think they do that at all. I mean, a lot of people report issues on the daily, such as people getting banned for trading on their game to make more coins. People are getting banned for trading. What is that? And it's stuff like that is stupid. Like the EA just ban people for doing stuff like that because they think they're coin buying. And then people actually tell them about these issues and it's still not being resolved. And then the likes of things that I said like earlier, like kickoff goals, near post corners, speed up lag, stuff like that just hasn't been changed. And EA don't listen to the people that play their game on a daily basis that want to obviously make it better. They're not just complaining because they want the game to be worse. They want it to be better. They're saying this stuff because they want it to be better. But no, um, it still hasn't been fixed. Some of the issues, quite a lot of the issues. And I don't know. And it's just like EA don't actually put as much effort into the community as Epic Games would or do for their games such as Fortnite. So on to the next one, imagine some limited time game modes slash tournaments in FIFA. Obviously this year EA have decided to take up daily knockout tournaments and stuff like that and I actually think that was quite a good idea and they could have actually made that a very cool thing to actually do. So they actually could have given us some decent prizes to win the daily knockout tournaments. I mean actually back in whatever FIFA it was, I think it might have been FIFA 16 when we could actually win a tournament and get our hands on the footies like Royce, Aubameyang but EA have just moved away from that and, get, and stopped like doing stuff like that and they completely wiped out the daily and weekly tournaments they put in the game. Imagine if EA still had stuff like that. That could be a similar thing to limited game mode, so you can actually go ahead and play a game and win a player. Uh, it, obviously, it's going to be quite hard because everyone's going to be trying to do it, but if they added stuff like that, or you could have like a big coin bonus one time, or you could go ahead and earn a pack, just something like that that could actually give some people another way to play the game for a bit of fun. Maybe you could like limit it so you can only have silver teams, like they used to have silver tournaments, or you can only have English players, you know, Premier League players, Brazilian League players. If they did something like that, that could be very, very cool. I don't know, they've obviously gone backwards away from that and took that out of the game for some reason. Like, I don't know why. So on to the next thing that I'm going to talk about, it mainly involves pro players, but more tournaments and bigger prize pools. So we know Fortnite obviously put a lot of money into esports and a lot into prize pools. And they actually now have like weekly tournaments on the actual game that is implemented in the game. Obviously, FIFA has this weekly tournament in Foot Champions. That is sort of the competitive tournament for that. But in terms of actual proper tournaments, where well, there's actually decent prize pools and are actually a lot more consistent and a lot more frequent than FIFA tournaments. Obviously, Epic Games have a lot of tournaments like Summer Skirmish as well. What if FIFA did that? What if they actually implemented something where they do it every month or like every week like they did for the summer and obviously do the full skirmish now as well? Imagine if EA hosted tournament systems like that where people could win money, the pro players that they could qualify via foot champions to get into these tournaments and they could do little things based on like if you scored a certain amount of goals you'd obviously get the bonus points just like they do in Fortnite where if you get a certain amount of kills say if you scored a certain amount of goals and obviously then you could get points for wins etc and it work out very very similar to how the summer skirmish did but you could just do it in terms of FIFA so like I said based on goals wins maybe if you kept a clean sheet you could get a bonus point as well something like that that could be very very cool and actually make the competitive scene a bit more interesting and actually get more people to watch it and obviously more tournaments would bring more eyes onto it because there'll be more frequent tournaments happening more often. So on to the final thing, just imagine cheaper FIFA points or better pack luck. Obviously in terms of Fortnite, I know a lot of the skins actually cost a lot, but you're actually guaranteeing yourself that specific item if you're spending that money by actually going ahead and purchasing a specific item. So imagine you could go out there and buy a certain player or you could buy a guaranteed 85 rated plus pack or something like that. So you're at least guaranteeing putting your money into the game and getting a decent thing back. Obviously in terms of FIFA, you actually buying them than putting your money on luck. Just imagine like a certain specific player you could buy or like I said, a certain specific pack that guarantees you a certain player, high rated or not. Or you could buy like an icon pack or an inform pack or something like that. That would actually then guarantee that you're actually at least going to get a certain thing back. 
all FIFA do have is literally just normal packs that they say they have luck in, etc. Obviously, if you know the probabilities, not really the best, especially for the normal packs. I can't lie about that. But EA can add more stuff to their store where you can, where they, you can actually buy certain specific stuff just so at least you know that you're putting your money into something that you're actually going to get stuff back from instead of being completely shafted and just getting absolutely rubbish packs. But yeah, boys, anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. So yeah, today we talked about what if FIFA got made by Epic Games. I think it would be a completely different game. I think the game would be improved a lot. And honestly, I really do think it would be a better game overall. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you do let me know in the comments. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.